MD here. I don't know what's going on with the United States, but uh, I'm starting to get real paranoid around here, man. Now I'm, now I'm talking about like paranoid and like book of apocalypse or something. <laughs> Uh, like, no, for real, man. Dude, I'm like digging in dumpsters to survive, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm actually like borrowing money. Like, I never borrow money. Well, I've done it a couple of times in my lifetime, but you know, I really, probably like three or four times, you know, in the last 30 years. <laughs> Dude. Uh, so I uh, okay. Um, I qualified for the food stamps. I also received the SSI benefits. With all due respect, I did everything federally and legally. Okay, some people do understand that. Well, now check this out. Change changing the subject, man. Guess you do have the right to, to you know the, the to conserve food stamps as long as you want. Well, anyways, um, I lost my wallet, and uh, this goes for all people who are on food stamps, okay? This 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 little situation is called disability attempt of murder. The sentence 50 years to life in federal state prison. If I were you, I would run, literally, Run. I wouldn't even bother trying to sell my house. I would run so fucking fast out of the state before the FBI kicks your fucking door in and say, uh, here, put this line detector test on after they slam the fucking badge so hard that if that that if they don't knock on the door first with the badge and cuff you and throw the key so far that you'll never see your family again. Okay, so GP and all those who are disabled, like me, and trying to survive eating out of the dumpster, which is hundreds of people like me. With all due respect, be careful. I got a friend. His name's Avi. Okay, he's really good people. Anybody wants to touch him, you can go through me, or we can put a bullet on you. How's that legally? Okay. Um, that man's been working for the United States of America since the Jurassic Age. So don't fuck around. Well, anyways, but that is not terrorist threat. That's self-defense. Now, what, with all due respect, okay, and when I say that, law enforcement can do it. Now, anyways, with all due respect, we get on the phone today, here, yeah, in the month of May, okay? What is it May, May 8th, 9th, 10th, whatever, okay? May 11th. Well, I called the state, I lost my wallet, I need a new, I need a new, uh, um, I need a new card. I, I got to give him. I got to give him my family's address. I rightfully, legally, respectfully, humbly, will go to my family and pick up my card. It should be there within a week. Not a problem. Sounds totally normal. I do it all the time for my SSI card. What's the problem? Assassins. GP, did you know an assassin could be you, an operator? Hi. <laughs> How can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't help you. Now you gotta call this number. Now you gotta call that number. Now you gotta call this number. Now you gotta call that number. They're making people call one number and then call another number. Call that number. Now call this number. Now call that number. Now call this number. Now call that. What is this, volleyball? Get the hell out of my country. Or solitary confinement. Not unless you want to get hit by a car or something like that. Don't let the digits 
give you 50 to life. EBT Customer Service, 866-281-2443. I'm full of shit and I don't want to help you. Yes, I want you to die. 702 EBT Address Change, 702-486-1646. I ordered your pardon. I was born and raised in this state, remember? We've been here since the 60s. Who the... Do you think you're talking to? So, let's call Paul the tail to a Clydesdale. Hey! That's what's going to pretty much hit you when you fuck around with the FBI. That's 50 to life. You know who you are. When the FBI blows your fucking door open and says, put this line detector test on. We got a couple questions for you. My name is Michael Adi Alvarado. I'm suffering... The disability attempted murder abuse is 50 to life. You know who you are, operators. I got a witness. You think you can mess with me? Now you're messing with the government. Want everybody to be safe out there. Because you never know when you'll talk to an assassin.